Hi, welcome to the first demo flight of the new variation, the new revision of the Churchill 691. This is the B version. The B version because it's coming also with this uh, goggle to be plugged in your at the out of your FPV uh, monitors. So the A version is only the two left element, the quadcopter, the radio plus the FPV monitors. The B version is also including this uh, small uh, FPV uh, Google. Oh, in fact, it's not including a video receiver. It's using the AV out of the uh, FPV monitors. So, uh, compared to the first uh, chairs and I review, uh, first of all, they, uh, they keep most of the uh, nylon structure. So you have the same uh, bottom and the same central structure. Uh, okay, so uh, be aware with this one. Uh, the priority to break uh, legs uh, or the front uh, LEDs is high during a frontal shock. And well, this machine uh, weights something like um, 430 grams. If I'm not wrong, I will correct uh, if I'm wrong. Uh, but uh, what are the main novelties? First of all, they include now a clover leaf antenna for also for the quadcopter instead of a linear one for the former edition. They also increase a little bit the maximum angle you can apply to the uh, camera, that's a good point if you are flying more aggressively. And I would say the main main uh, uh, novelty, they double the number of fats on the one uh, four-in-one uh, board. It means that you have much more power, it's much more stronger, so it will be mo a much more sporty racer. Okay, you still have the same 1600 3S LiPo, 30C of discharge rate coming with XT60 connector. Uh, two uh, frontal white LEDs to keep your orientation in last condition, but for night flight maybe it won't be enough. The props are largely uh, Bebop inspired, you have to uh, uh, install it and to lock them with the provided branch, okay? Um, and uh, you, now you have some uh, rear LEDs uh, to indicate it at least uh, by moment of your flight mode. Only two flight modes available, okay? <laughs> so thanks to the switch A. So the zero position, switch A0, is your uh, pure six axis stabilization for beginner, we say. And the one is uh, the ratitude. So it's not a real acro, it's uh, with uh, possibility to turn into rate when your stick is close to the uh, limits. So it's easy to flip, but you, it's not a real, a real acro, okay? So um, now I will fly it first in last condition, then uh, of course record everything, uh, thanks to the uh, 5.8 uh, 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 video transmitter I set to the E1, and I will also record uh, the 720p uh, footage thanks to the uh, mini DVR built in here. You have an 8GB micro SD card. I will apply a correct angle, okay, like this, and uh, let's go. Okay, so I will press recording my FPV Googles and try to harm the quadcopter. Like, as you can see, the FPV monitor is very brilliant. So, I will harm if I can. What's happened? I will. Okay, press recording. Yes, harm the quadcopter. You have. Okay, now it's good. And let's go for latitude mode. Wow. Yes, I can feel it's much more sporty. Okay, let's see a pump. Not bad. What I like is the LEDs are visible right now. Okay. And I will try to show you on the FPV monitors. It's very visible. It's fast. Yeah, it's silent. It's more sporty definitively than the first revision I reviewed some time ago. Wow. You 
can see you have some air brake if you cut throttle. It's amazing. Okay, let's try to see a pump. Not bad. Whoa. Okay, I will turn now in gratitude. And I hope we'll be able to see him. Not in, the, not in the sun because we'll be blind by the camera. But I will fly just above the herbs. Okay, in case. Okay, now ratitude mode. So I should have. Oh, it's slow. It was flipping fast. Was flipping faster. What's happened? Yes. Yes. Ah, uh, it's too slow. The rate is very slow. It was faster for the area machine. So you need a minimum of. A Look that, I cannot pitch more. Okay, we land now. And uh, try the FPV Googles provided. You have something like uh, 10 minutes of flying duration with your original uh, LiPo. Okay, and I will show how to plug it on the air. On the FPV, moni FPV monitor, it's quite, quite easy. Okay, turn off recording. Okay. Okay, so I will replug the quad machine, the machine. Okay, turn off the uh, transmitter. Turn on the FPV monitors. And, hope you can see. Yes, I will maybe decrease a little bit the uh, angle. That's pretty cool. And I will turn on, look that, I plug the uh, one cable on this uh, Google and we turn on the the uh, I will check that if everything is okay. Uh -huh. I have nothing. No, no signal. Why it's not working? Maybe uh, I charge the... No, it's not turned on. Maybe with the LiPo. I charged before, so I don't understand. Oh, maybe I forgot to, to recharge my Google. Okay. okay, anyway, it's not a problem. I will continue normally. So, I will record. You have a small red LED flashing on the quadcopter, press a yaw on bottom left. Okay, look. You can see the... This is in a beginner rate, so it's not so bad. Uh, the female. I'm disappointed by the uh, uh, ratitude rate. I was expecting much more. 
but uh, what I like is the FPV transmission. Uh, pretty good, the signal pretty strong. Okay, let's have a try again in latitude. Yes, the rates are increased, you can see. Okay, it's much more to prefer maybe a lateral. Yeah, okay. The um, left and right rate are much more faster than the uh, front flip rate, forward backward rate. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, was that faster? So if you cut immediately the throttle, the rate are pretty slow. Okay, don't apply, don't cut completely the throttle. Okay, and the flips are faster. Yes, flipping better now. Nice machine. Let's see back flap, uh, back flip. Yes. Wow. Much more better. Much better. Yes. No, it's fast, it's strong machine for sure. I like it. Wow. The rate I amazed. The pitch are I think with this machine you can go more than 100 kilometers hours. Oh, extraordinary. that I told you if you cut too much of the air throttle the air the rates are not amazing so it's really for beginners, you know? Look at that. Wow. Look at the right. Superbly. The contour range is great too. It's super easy to flip with, even in FPV, so it's a great machine, I like it. I hope you can see how uh, this machine is handling the... Uh, the oh, you have a batter? Okay, so time to land? Yes. Yes, I hope you can hear. Time to land, that's great. Okay, I regret that there is no switch to, uh, for example, 
to turn on the bother if your uh, quad is lost into the grace. Okay, um, herbs. I would stop recording and also on my FPV goggles. Okay, I hope it was recording well. And turn off it. Okay, so um, it was the first demo flight of the chair since 91B, much more sporty than the uh, first edition thanks to the larger uh, um, FAT and uh, ESC. What I really like is the uh, 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 many things. Uh, the Ratitude is already uh, done for beginners who want to start uh, with first um, manual flips. Okay, just uh, release, uh, push the sticks into any direction with a minimum throttle value, and it's voila, it's done. Uh, no pure acro mode, but really I like there is no frame rate drop when you're recording when the FB signal is sent. So the 720 part is not so bad, the light sensitivity in average. But you can adjust, for example, the lens orientation, that's pretty cool. You have a buzzer to indicating the voltage alarm, no specific switch to turn on it. For example, in emergency to localize, localize your lost quadcopter. Okay, the FPV screen is very good. Uh, what a pity that my uh, Google was not full charge for the uh, LiPo. And uh, well, really I, I like it. So uh, I will perform some other video. If you like it, please submit. And if you like my channel in general, subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.